Coming up on Mountain News this morning, we'll take a look at one of the counties that was hit hard by freezing temperatures and what officials did to get water to everyone. Plus, a bill is making its way to Kentucky legislation that calls for an alert system for missing adults. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Olivia Calfee. The time is 6 a.m. on Friday, February 2nd. Now let's check in with meteorologist Tim Drawbridge for a look at your forecast this morning. And good morning, Olivia. Good morning, everyone. Nice start to the day. 43 outside our studios here at WIMT. A better view than what we had a couple of weeks ago. And well, as we head to the weekend, even better. Weak front means sprinkles, maybe a passing shower today. Above average temperatures through the weekend. In fact, into next week as the quiet weather pattern will be continuing. In the meantime, temps this morning is cool as 30 degrees at Middlesboro. We're at 43 again here at Hazard, 37 at Urban to 43 at Moorhead. It's uh, 33 London Corbin Airport, 36 at Williamsburg, Pikeville at 45 and 37 as you make way toward Wise. The pinpoint Doppler radar, nothing to see right now. Will be hard to see as we head through today. Again, with sprinkles and perhaps that quick passing shower, the boundary draped across the region, heading from the morning into the early afternoon. As we check out the planner, heading through the day today, indeed, partly sunny. Look for sprinkles, maybe a quick passing shower and a high of 49. Brighter, milder for the weekend. Your first alert seven day forecast coming up in just a few moments. Olivia. Tim, thank you. A southern Kentucky county is slowly getting back to normal after widespread running water issues that impacted nearly everyone. The problem started in Clinton County more than two weeks ago when temperatures plummeted. Officials say the aging water system could not handle the strain on the system. WYMT's Phil Pendleton spoke to emergency officials who have worked to help people get bottled water through the situation. Crews are out working on water lines in the southern part of Clinton County Thursday. They have worked around the clock and basically got most of the county restored with water. There is one community now that still has a uh, water pressure issue that they're currently still working on, but all water should be restored to the all citizens at this time. That's in the Hogback area south of Albany, but officials say at one time last month, nearly everyone in the county was without service. They had to repair, I know they were up to 80 plus leaks to repair. The cold weather caused the pipes to break and water simply could not flow to areas it was needed. Bottled water was made available to people and other organizations stepped up with shower and laundry trailers. As far as cases out, I'd be afraid to say, but I know we've handed out probably uh, way over 150 pallets of water so far. An official with the Kentucky Division of Water told me that this aging water system simply could not keep up with thousands of people all dripping their water faucets to keep their pipes from freezing all at once. That in turn was coupled with a problem with the electrical grid here, not able to keep up with the demand, some outages causing some water pumps not to operate. A boil water advisory remains in effect, and because of that, bottled water is still available, a case per household. I think we're winding down on giving water out because all the county has water restored back, and as long as that is stable, we're wanting to make sure that there's no other issues that will uh, become. Local and state officials are working on an improvement project, which officials say is in the study phase. In Clinton County, Phil Pendleton, WYMT Mountain News. Albany's mayor sent us a detailed statement thanking God and multiple people and agencies through the emergency. You can see the entire statement on WYMT.com. We're learning more about a new bill aiming to bring the Ashanti alert to Kentucky. Senator David Yates testified on Senate Bill 45 yesterday morning. The Kentucky Ashanti alert system is made to create alert systems for missing at risk adults. It's named after a 19 year old woman abducted from Virginia and later found dead in North Carolina. It calls for a national alert system for people over 17 who fall outside the Amber alert system. We keep seeing this happen. There's people that we could have found. 
uh, that you know that it comes in from Indiana, from other places, and there's just a donut hole. It ends here because we do have not passed this. Senator Yates says Louisville police have also reached out for help to get this bill passed. Amid the ongoing issues with the rollout of the state's new motor vehicle information system, some clerk's offices are now also reporting issues with how customers are able to pay. Any county clerk that uses Tyler technology as a provider for credit and debit card transactions is experiencing issues processing payments, and it is impacting any transaction within the clerk's office, not just motor vehicle services. We understand that People are frustrated. We're frustrated too. You know, this is another computer system that is out of our control that has now created an impact on the way that we're able to provide customer service and the level of customer service that people have been able to rely on. Clerk's offices are asking for patients. Be prepared to bring your checkbook or cash to pay for services at affected clerk's offices until the issue is resolved. Kentucky local governments are trying to plan ahead for when medical cannabis becomes legal in the state next year. The Kentucky League of Cities is offering a webinar next week for its members to learn how local governments could be impacted with regulations they'll have to enforce. The session will also look at the economic impact it may have. The start of February marks the beginning of Kindness Month, and one Estill County school is celebrating by honoring a staff member who they say exemplifies kindness in every aspect. David Rice is a janitor at Estill County Middle School and is known for his fist bumps and never missing a ball game. All those students and staff say he always has a smile on his face. His wife is battling cancer, and Mr. Dave is stepping away from the place he calls home. Mr. Dave has had some struggles this year taking care of his wife and being at school and everything and he doesn't like to miss work. Um, he doesn't like to miss anything with the kids so we just wanted to show our appreciation. To honor his kindness, a surprise school-wide assembly was held to wish Mr. Dave luck on his new endeavor. His wife goes into surgery next week. We wish them well throughout this battle. Love Your Downtown is a Kentucky Main Street effort to spread love to local businesses this month. The Pikeville Main Street program is one of many participants in the February movement, decorating the downtown as a love letter to the people who support it. The small businesses are decked in Valentine themed decor, asking shoppers to come in the door and share the love. Participating businesses downtown that really thrive off of our community members uh, locally and from across the state that come in to shop and to, to visit downtown Pikeville. So the fit month of February is just a way for everyone to get together to love on our downtown merchants a little bit. The Main Street program is hosting a Love Your Downtown Day February 10th at noon with special shopping options, wine tastings and more. And a good Friday to you. I absolutely love that story. Kudos to Pikeville. They're doing the, the whole Valentine's Day theme. In the meantime, out your way right now, it is 45, 33 at Clintonwood, 43 here in Hazard to 34 at Manchester, 43 Moorhead, and 36 at Irvin. Pinpoint Doppler radar right now, nothing to show. It'd be hard to kind of pick up, looking at the radar today, the weak system moving through. Some sprinkles, quick moving shower, that's about it. There's drier air coming in from the north and west, and that means, yes, drier air equaling sunshine and timed out to be arriving and being with us this coming weekend. Out the door we go again. Some sprinkles, that quick passing shower. Otherwise, we'll get up close to 49 for the afternoon high. The weekend forecast is milder than that. Your first alert seven-day forecast coming up in just a few moments. Olivia. Thank you, Tim, and thanks for joining Mountain News this morning. More news is on the way. Coming up, the mother of a Michigan school shooter takes the stand in her own manslaughter.